Now, I posted a video, I think, the other day about a tragedy that happened to a lawyer out of Atlanta. And I talked about, you know, she was dating a Pookie and Ray Ray, and he ended up killing her, and which is a very, very, you know, sad and, and tragic story. Um, and there was many comments that came across, some from defending Pookie and Ray Ray, um, to some um, think I think these are funny. They say that oh, Pookie and Ray Ray must have took a girl I was dating. I would never date a woman that e that would even consider a Pookie and Ray Ray. Um, I believe in getting information about who a woman would date in the past, and if I would find out that she was dating Pookie and Ray Rays, that was it. I would not want to date no kind of woman at the time. Um, that dated Pookie and Ray Ray because it says a lot about her choices uh, in the matter, right? Um, she's choosing a guy that possibly can get her killed because of his rivals in the streets. Um, she's dating a guy that can get her possibly arrested uh, for him carrying, you know, drugs or, or guns or anything that he has, you know, that that she don't know about. It's a lot of times, these women do know what they're doing, right? Let's not just be silly to that, um, but. You know, then you have some that was, you know, in there. And that's kind of what I want to address a little bit more. One, um, and you know who you are, and that's fine. And you can respond. I didn't block you. Um, was saying that I don't have a right to tell women who to date, et cetera. And I, and I knew what that type was. That's the type of date Pookie and Ray Ray. But let me tell you something. Um, because that kind of comment represents actually a, a, a particular uh, group in our community. A lot of you... And, and, and of course, if this doesn't apply to you, don't, don't send me no message, right? You always walking around here saying that brothers are not protecting you and not looking out for you, right? And oh, you want to be protected. But how many times have brothers have told you to stop doing certain things, stop hanging out with certain kind of women, don't date Pookie and Ray Ray. Hey, date this decent brother over here. Oh, this brother over here, you know, he, he's a, uh, a sales manager, you know, oh, this brother, you know, he works at Nissan. He, he sells cars. Oh, this brother, you know, he, he works in the plants, you know, he's a, uh, a welder. Oh, this brother over here, you know, maybe he, uh, you know, is some sort of uh, engineer or oh, whatever the case the brothers may be right outside of Pookie and Ray Ray. And, some, some do not want those kind of brothers and that's fine. But after Pookie and Ray Ray run through you, if, if you didn't get, you know, uh, taken out of here, unfortunately, like sister Courtney got taken out of here by Pookie and Ray Ray, right? Then you want to come back later after you had your children with Pookie and Ray Ray. Then you want to get like Brittany Renner and say it's stepdaddy season. And then you want to get mad when, when brothers say, Ain't no stepdaddy season over here. Go back with that Pookie and Ray Ray. Go find him. I don't want no ready-made family, especially with, with the seed of a Pookie and Ray Ray, because what I know about children is that whatever that, that, that you are and whatever that kid uh, is and whatever he was can actually go into that child. So maybe that streak that he has is just horrible could go into that child and then I'm going to have to be dealing with that problem when that kid get about 12, 13, 14 years old. No, I'm not dealing with that son of yours. No, I'm not doing it. You want to get mad. Why? If you choose Pookie and Ray Ray, don't get mad when things happen the way they normally happen, which is what? Jail or sometimes it could be uh, taken out of here. Now, I don't have an issue with a brother that reformed himself. I've said that many times before. If he went to jail, whatever, he got out. He turned his life around. You know, he got a business. He got a great career. He's a family man now. He's nothing like he was, he used to be. I like to see brothers turn their life around. I love it. That's a great story. But guys that just want to stay in that mess, and then you have a woman that's like a lawyer. You got women that's nurses. You got women that's doctors that would even date a Pookie and Ray. I know it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. I know that, the, the, oh, well, because it's exciting. Like, you do need this man to entertain you, so crime entertains you, right? Why don't you go watch BMF on TV then, if you want to go watch a crime show? Go watch that. Go watch Power or something. Raising Canaan. Go watch that. That's exciting. I like watching that. I wouldn't want that life around me like that. Hell no. Uh-uh. 
If you want to, if you love that sort of thing, they got it on TV for you all day long, but a man should not be that. Brothers are protecting you when they're giving you advice. Fathers give advice, which I'm a father. Husbands give advice. I'm that. Uncles. I'm an uncle too. Hell, I'm, a, I'm even a grandpa. You know, I got one grandkid. I got a grandson, right? I know very early, but I got one. What I'm saying is, you are brothers are, are giving you a lot of advice. The thing is, a lot of you are hard headed. You don't want to listen. You hit your head against the brick wall so many times, and then later you hear you want to come. Now you want to listen. Oh, I wish I'd have listened. And you know how many sisters I talk to to learn their stories, and then when they get about in their thirties, that that range right there. Now they they say, oh, they did tell me. My told me my dad told me my cousin of uh, a guy friends all these different people told me but i didn't listen i wanted to lay down with that drug dealer and i had this baby with a drug dealer where you at today oh he got 30 years so when brothers were telling you and trying to protect you from dealing with a life like that you didn't want to listen so don't be saying nothing about black men don't want to protect you because the simple form of protection is to listen Follow a program. I also had one of them say, why are you so hard on women? Because I'm a man. That's what men are. Men aren't soft. I know you're so used to these little beta males. They got feminine energy. I know you're used to that. But real men are harsh. Real men is going to tell you the truth for what it is. And that's how we show you love. Now, when a man don't, don't, don't tell you crap and a man only want to look out for you, that's when a man don't, can't stand your behind because he's not going to say nothing to you. But if a man is trying to tell you something, that means he's caring. Like I said, all my, my young sisters out here, my, my nieces out here, right? I care about y'all. I don't want to see y'all end up in a situation. I don't want to see that. I want to see y'all all with a happy family. That's, that's what I like to see, right? I don't, Pookie and Ray Ray is not a family choice. Then, then you have some, some of the, the other, you know, uh, people that want to defend it. Oh, we're talking about our own people, X, Y, Z. Like, why would you defend the filth in our community? That's filth. I don't accept filth from nowhere. No community accepts filth. We need the builders in our community. We need families in our community. That's what our community was always built off of. Not Pookie and Ray Ray and the Wild Hyena Hood Rats. No, that's not what our community. What you're seeing today is nothing that what we, we even practice in this country or even globally, right? So I will never accept something that's not who we are. So listen, listen to the brothers, ladies, when they're trying to tell you about certain things with men. Men know men. So listen sometime. I know, I know America teach you that you shouldn't listen to the brothers, that to hate the brothers. But listen, this all we no matter what, we we got each other. That's it, right? And no one else is gonna look out for you like the brothers. No matter what you say about us or whatever, we all you got in the world. And then on the other side, no matter what's being said about the sisters, you all we got. It's nobody else that we can grab on. Uh, as a group, it's not going to work. Now, maybe it's a few individuals, but individuals don't, it's not going to uh, equate the group, right? So listen to your brothers when they're looking out for you. Telling you to stay away from Pookie and Ray Ray is protecting you. But, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular video. I just wanted to address a few things, um, as Uncle Phil should, because we're just trying to, you know, let, lay down some groundwork here.